all of the national media jabroni haircuts try to replicate what we have. Like we have a, a certain nice, nice when it comes to NFL power rankings, the most accurate power rankings in the known universe come out tomorrow, but everyone, they try so hard and Dan Hanzus at NFL.com around the NFL. Uh, fantastic on the podcast. No to Jets fan. Maybe that's why he, he hates the Vikings so much because the Vikings and the Jets, the, the, the Vikings and the Jets had the dumbest rivalry in sports history. But uh, we actually praised uh, the Zeuser last week uh, when he placed the Vikings seventh in his power rankings. Yeah, most people don't really have the time of day for the Vikes. It, it is what it is. But week nine, we got some issues. We got some issues. So yeah, up at the top, you got the Bills holding serve. Uh, you got the Eagles at two, uh, and then you got the Chiefs who were on the bye. Sure. Uh, well, our issue was the Cowboys at four. Hmm. Congratulations for beating the Bears at home. We've done that. I mean, it was just a lot closer. And then you got the Niners jumping up to five. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. But you had the Vikings static at seven. So the Vikings beat the upstart Arizona Cardinals, moved to six and one uh, on the season, tied for the second best uh, record in the National Football League with the Bills. But okay, hey, just out at seven. They're just hey, 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 that little guy. Don't worry about that little guy. Here's what he wrote. Patrick Peterson waited a long time to get his opportunity for revenge on the Cardinals. He had a week two last year in Arizona. Uh, and while the veteran cornerback didn't snag two interceptions, he'd promised all week against his former team. He was active and extremely engaged throughout the Sunday's uh, 36-20, uh, 34-26 win. Really good reading today. Uh, Minnesota six in seven tries this season. I'm still waiting on general manager Steve Kime to call me, said Peterson, who left the Cardinals after the 2020 season. Still haven't talked to him. The Vikings never seem to win comfortably, but they've opened up a comfortable lead over the Packers and Bears in the otherwise scuffling NFC North. So the Vikings have a three and a half lead over the Packers and the Bears, the largest lead for a divisional leader in the National Football League. Also an edge in the head up against the Bears as well as the Packers. Packers, but yeah, that's just seven. That, that, that's just seven. I mean, the Ravens, hey, congratulations for beating a bombed out and depleted Buccaneers team. Congratulations. I mean, they did just trade for Roquan, but how does that factor into power rankings? So it was, oh, uh, six and one is more than five and three. Beep, bop, 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 boop. Doing my math. And then probably the most egregious thing. Like, I, I understand that power ranking shouldn't just be straight uh, records because then they're just standings. Uh, but the Niners... The Niners still have Jimmy Garoppolo. And I know, like, well, the Vikings have Kirk Cousins. I will take Kirk 10 times out of 10, a million times out of a million over Jimmy Garoppolo. I, I, I just will. So, hey, congratulations uh, for going down and winning a neutral side game uh, against the Rams, who are just also decrepit, and also Cooper Cup got hurt. Yeah, and that's what it is. I mean, the Rams have zero home field advantage. I mean, it was more red than blue and yellow uh, in uh, in the stadium uh, on Sunday. So, yeah, and the Niners got Christian McCaffrey, cool. They got Debo, cool, whatever. But they're five? They're five. Like, they move up seven spots from 12. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but the Vikings hold serve at seven. I mean, the Vikings at minimum should be five. Should be f Well, they should be four, but at minimum, they should be five. You know, Tennessee's moving up. Uh, Seahawks, respect. Bengals take a tumble. Uh, Giants drop down a little bit after losing to the Seattle. Uh, how the Dolphins move up two spots for being Detroit, man? This, this ain't Detroit, man. This is the Super Bowl. Whatever. Yeah, the Jets dropped four spots. Probably should have been more. Zach Wilson just giving away, giving away, giving away now. But probably the most egregious thing uh, is his ranking of the Packers, of course. So the Packers at 19, at 3 and 5. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, here's what he wrote. The, the the kind viewpoint would be that Sunday's Sunday night's 27 to 17 loss to the Bills represent progress on some level. Oh, because they didn't lose by that many. They, they didn't get beat by 20. Great. Man protected Green Bay will get embarrassed, blah, blah, blah. And that didn't happen. Oh, well. The Bills really kind of screwed the pooch and allowed Green Bay to run the ball in the second half. It's like, hey, you have the alleged, alleged back-to-back -back NFL MVP, and you're just running the ball? I mean, you're running the ball down 17. Run, 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 till daddy takes the T-bird away. Are you kidding me? Are, are, are you kidding me? Okay, sure, w whatever. But it's disappointing. It's disappointing, man, because I, I feel like the national media jabroni haircuts, like – you know, they, they play to the, the large national fan bases. They play to the Packers. They play to the Cowboys. They play to the Steelers to a degree. They play to the Patriots, uh, et cetera. But, I mean, uh, it feels like the national media is actively rooting. It's like, hey, uh, they're, they're doing CPR on the Packers. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. Rogers, speak to me, man. Breathe. All that stuff. 
It's ridiculous. And a part and parcel of trying to try, trying to put the Packers up, even though they're three and a half games behind and down in the head-to-head, is like, oh, by knocking down the Vikings. But, nah. Fa, fa, fa. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Dan Hans, this NFL.com, NF, uh, around the NFL, disrespects uh, the Vikings in his uh, latest NFL power ranking. Shocker. Shocker. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.